What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So this is going to be slightly different. We're transforming a Mark II Fiesta today. Right, this is Stuart. He's the owner of the Mark II Fiesta. He purchased this last year and he's wanted to modify it and lower it for ages. So today is the day. He's already removed the hubcaps. It looked slightly better with them on. <laughs> but we've had some plans in the pipeline for a little while now. He's bought himself some front coilovers along with some rear springs and yeah, well today we're going to get it lowered and put on his new wheels. It should be a completely transformed Mark II Fiesta by the end of this evening. Anyway, I won't waffle on, let's get to work and start modifying this Mark II Fiesta. <laughs> Stuart's just removed both of the front wheels and I've just lubed up the bolts that hold the strut on, put a bit of lube on the brake hose as well, just so that comes off a bit nicer. So we're just gonna, yeah, basically strip the old shock off of this side and fit the coil over. Let's get to it. Right, so we've got the two bolts at the strut on both sides and Stuart's just undoing the other truck red ends because we've done the other side already. And then all that's left to do now is to remove both of the top mount bolts. That is the first original strut off. Nice and rusty. I'll tell you what though, under the arches, it's not in bad condition. Stuart's just working hard, <laughs> undoing the other struts up, and then we'll get him off. The uh, top mount bush stayed in there, so that's fine, that can just stay there. He's just undoing this side, and I'll grab the strut out in a sec. I haven't actually mentioned this yet, but the reason we're doing this this evening is because we are attending retro rides this weekend. Now it is Tuesday evening, so yeah, not got long, and hopefully we're gonna blast all of this workout tonight. So yeah, let's see how we get on. Stu's just bought the coilovers out. Now these he picked up from Facebook for a real good price. He thinks like 40 or 50 quid, and uh, yeah, they've had the Mark II brackets put on the bottom. They haven't got the little bracket on the back for the brake pipe, but that doesn't matter. The only thing is we've just got to swap about these top mounts uh, to swap them to Stuart's Mark II's top mounts. So yeah, let's get them swapped over and I'll show you guys what you need to do because we need to modify the cups. driveway antics well it's not even driveway <laughs> just on the side of the road today right we've now acquired a drill <laughs> so we are yeah, I've already done one, drilled out to 14 mil. I think these are either 12 mil or 13 already, but when you fit coilovers, the fridge just a little bit thicker, you need to drill them out to 14 mil. Stuart's gonna go ahead and do that now. Perfect. Hey, lovely stuff. One more and we're all done. Perfect. Jobs are good in. I've had a little tidy up and an organised, so here are the coilovers. So this is the correct order to put them on. You've got the silver caps, then the bearing, and then these cups from your original Mark II Fiesta. They do need to be drilled out, as I've already said. So the order is that one, then the bearing, and then that, and the nut goes on afterwards. And then once that's done, you then need to put the strut into the car 
and then you just finish it off with the top cup and the last nut. So pretty simple. That's the order there. Got a pizza on the go and also just built up the coilovers. I'd love to say it's the same day, but unfortunately it's not. We ran into a problem yesterday evening that we couldn't resolve. So pretty much we built up the coilovers and got the nut on, but obviously once it goes up into the wheel arch, it needs the other plate and then another nut. But we didn't have two more nuts to go on the tops, so we couldn't install these yesterday. But luckily, went into my bolt drawer at work and I found two. This one should fit on, there we go. Also, whilst I was tinkering about with these, the bottom bracket needed widening slightly, so I've opened them up so they fit onto the hub a little bit easier. But anyway, that's all solved now. I'm gonna install these front coilovers before Stuart gets back from work and then we'll crack on and do the rear lowering springs. That's Stuart's Mark II Fiesta now jacked up at the rear as well. All I've done is gone and removed the wheels. And now I'm gonna get inside and undo the top mounts. I've just come inside the boot. Need to remove this top little cover. And then it is just a 17 mil nut and we can release the shocks. I've done the same on both sides. I've removed the top nut from the strut inside the boot and now you've got the spring nice and loose so i've got the jack under there just in case it goes too far down but the only real resistance on this now is sort of the brake lines and the handbrake cables but it's not causing them too much damage there's not too much tension on that to be fair so to get this spring out it's in there quite tight i'm just going to whack my screwdriver in there to try and pop this bush out which might be quite hard one-handed now I've just popped off this bush, or the bump stop. Let's me whack it up and out there, like that. And that is how you remove the old spring. If you pop off both of the struts at the same time, it makes it so much easier. The only other thing I had to do was release the exhaust from the rubbers. So just one rubber here and another one back here. That's the only rubbers that hold this exhaust on. And then it connects to the downpipe further up. So yeah, that is Stuart's old springs off. And here are the new ones. These are from SB Parts, which is Shane Baker. These are 75 mil springs. You can get a whole variety. I think the maximum you can go is 100 mil, but personally, I think that's quite undrivable, if that makes sense. This is a really nice low ride height. It might scrape the exhaust slightly on a few high speed bumps, but yeah, these are a good all rounder. We're gonna be using the original top rubber mount pieces. They're quite old. You could do with some poly bushes, but this is on a bit of a budget. So we're gonna reuse them. There's nothing wrong with them. There you go, you see it slots in there. And then whack the spring in. And there's a little cutout round here for the spring to sit, like so. Look at that, it's almost half the size. Let's have a comparison. Yeah. It's quite the difference. <laughs> We've just bolted back up the shocks. The springs are in there. They're going to be loose until we put some weight on the rear axle. I've also just put the exhaust back on as well. So we're pretty much ready to put the wheels on.
walking around his fresh wheels. Look at them. <laughs> oh, mate, they look so good. I've also brought him around some different bolts because you can't use the steel bolts. You need to use the alloy wheel bolts. Not much different, but yeah, otherwise the wheels will wobble about like anything. We finally got Stuart's Mark II Fiesta back on the ground and it's sitting pretty nicely now. Still need to adjust the front coil over slightly, but not too much. Just needs last few final tweaks. As for the rear ends, he really needs a adjustable pan hard rod. Because if you look how far out this tire is, and we go around to the other side, look how tucked that is in. So basically, when you lower a Mark II Fiesta, it will just slide the axle across to one side, but when you get an adjustable power hard rod, you can level out where these wheels are. See that one so tucks in, and this one's obviously scrubbing. We thought we'd be able to get away with it, so I bent the power hard rod a bit, but it's not the correct way, and he really does need a power hard rod to get this axle sitting nice and square. But it has been a success. The Fiesta is looking nice and low now on its new wheels. Had one casualty earlier this glass for the headlight just came out weren't even working on it. it just turned around and it just fell out so strange we're gonna try and source one of them before retro rides it's now Wednesday so we haven't got long we're going down there on Friday because we're camping for the whole weekend right so where I left this video Stuart didn't have a pan hard rod but the other day he purchased one and fitted it himself as you can see, he's now got his adjustable pan hard rod under the axle. And now the fitment of the back wheels is much better. It's now even once again. I said to Stuart, the only thing he needs now is some rear shocks. They had no bounce on them when we were changing the rear springs. So it's slightly rubbing on the arch. But once he's got some new shocks, the rear end should be pretty decent and um, it shouldn't rub because this is exactly the same suspension setup I've got on mine and it doesn't rub at all so new shocks and should be good as gold anyway that's going to be it for this video I hope you enjoyed watching us modify Stuart's standard Mark II Fiesta I think you all agree that it looks really cool now and you're happy with the outcome aren't you yeah, mate. so yeah win-win uh, all round Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. And if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel to see more. Thank you all for watching. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later.